Hi guys, um, uh, today I'm going to do this rather large butterfly. Um, I've not done something quite this big before um, and not quite so um, intricate. Oh, I've got something in my mould there. Um, so I saw Marva um, from Marvellous Artsy do this a long time ago. Um, and I immediately got onto Amazon and um, found the same mould because I absolutely loved it. It was so beautiful. So I'm going to have a go at this myself. Um, I've got nine different colours and I'm using alcohol inks. Um, I've already mixed the colours up. Um, you might be able to see some of them down the bottom of the screen, of the side of the screen there. Um, these are the colours that I'm using. It's Fans Arichi. Anyway, they're alcohol inks. I can't re really read the name. Um, so I'm using an ultramarine. Um, I'm using a bronze gold and a light blue. Uh, a violet. Yellow green. A golden and a metal grey so it's kind of silvery colour and pink and red okay so let's get on with it because I've I mixed these a little while ago and I don't want um, these to cure before I've tried to do anything so right I'm going to do the bronze gold colour I'm going to give it a little mix before I use it. Oh, let's get a wet wipe out because I need to wipe my stick afterwards. Just need to make sure it's mixed properly. There we go. Right. So I'm going to start at the very top. I'm not sure you can see that. Let me just see if I can bend you that way a little bit. There we go. I'm going to start right up here. So I'm going to use all the colour in this section and just let it go where it wants to. It's going up that way. It's going to keep travelling wherever I put it. So, so I'm just going to pour it all in that part there and then it can travel where it wants to. There we go. That's the first bit. I'm just going to wipe these little pots out as I go is so difficult to clean once the resin has cured and wipe my stick so there we go right so that's the first colour which colour am I going to go with next um, I think I'm going to go with a, a purple um, so if I pour a bit here some this side as well I think it hasn't got to go everywhere here because um, because I don't want it in these holes because it those are supposed to be like proper holes so and this will push also push the gold back a little bit. I think I did a little bit more purple than 
I probably needed. I'm going to pop some of that um, this side as well. Bit around the edge, maybe. scrape out as much as I can because at the end of the day resin is expensive isn't it guys so we want to use every little drop that we can every little drop swipe this pot out Okay, um, red next, no, green I think, the green next, uh, where, oh, look, this is, looks like a leaf here, so let's, and again, that will push some of the purple back a bit. Oops, I've got to be careful because I'm dipping my elbow into the the purple bit I did that side look sorry you didn't see that guys got to be careful So guys, have any of you watched my video about my chickens, my sh my video shorts? Um, I think they, my chickens are hilarious. I love them to bits. <laughs> They're so funny. Um, I've built a new pen. Go and have a look at the video shorts that I've made. I haven't finished it yet. My friends just built a proper door for it. So that's coming tomorrow. And um, chickens are settling into their new pen very well they do love it um so yeah go go and have a look go and have a look at them lovely chickens they are they're really really lovely and the eggs are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the yolks are so rich Okay, I'll put some of this red along here, I think. I definitely think I'm not going to have enough resin that I've made up, but I can always make more up. That's not a problem, is it? I should imagine this um, mould takes a good 10 ounces or more, maybe, but I haven't counted how much I've done, so sorry guys. <laughs> show you which resin what I'm using. I'm using the same one as I used in my last um, video. I don't tend to buy different resins for different projects because I'm, I'm quite happy just using the one. Um, it's not a big issue for me because I'm not 
I don't really sell anything really. I tend to give it to family and friends and and keep them to myself. Um, right, what should we have? Should we have some the silver? I want to put some silver here. Not very steady handed, so I'll probably end up probably end up going everywhere. And I think I put more in the other one than I did in this one. Scrape it around a bit, see how much I can get out. Oops. Typical. There we go. The thing with resin is it will go where it wants to. Um, so on a piece like this, you couldn't just say, oh, well, I just want this bit and this bit and this bit, this colour, because you put the colour in and it will travel. Um, the only way you can kind of keep it to one area sort of is by putting another colour in so it'll push back a little bit um, okay this gold colour now I'm going to do that here well it's not gold this one's the yellow I think just went down into a little bit where I didn't want it which is fine oops just pour it because I'm pouring it too fast maybe I should have used um, a pipette or something my hands, because I have fibromyalgia, my hands do tend to shake a lot. So I'm not very good at um, keeping things in one place. So it all gets a bit messy <laughs> and goes in the wrong place. Oh, I think this one was the gold actually. Yeah. There we go. That's it. I kind of like that so far. Lots of different colours on the, that side. I don't think I'm going to do too many colours on the other side. Because um, I want it to be kind of more colourful this side than this side. So it might just be black this side. So I've got three colours left. I've got the yellow green, um, the red and the, the bright blue. So I haven't put any blue this side yet. Um, there aren't really any places to put it. Let's see, maybe a bit in there. That might push some of the purple and red back a bit. Just a little splash of colour. And that, I mi that will actually mix a bit nicely with the red. 
That'll make a bit of a purpley colour as well. Oh, there we go. Can you see the blue going into green there? You probably can't see that. But right, I'm going to put some of this around here. Like this. Like it. And then a little bit there. I don't really want too much here, just a little bit. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough of that little bit there. kind of looks okay I don't know I'm a bit um I get a bit anxious about how things are going to turn out you know whether these colors are going to be bright enough or not I might just put a clear layer of um of resin on the back of here because I might hang it in my window my, my um, living room window that looked beautiful it catch the sun then as well the sun will catch all those colours right so I've got the green yeah I'm just going to have to fill these areas up with these colours That's not going to fill that bit up. There's something in there. It's start to cure already. It's a bit weird. Taking ages to do this, so to maybe push this a bit because I want it to join up. There we go. Right, one more colour left. That, that will have to go in here. Use my um, lollipop stick. This one's a little bit big. That's better. Okay. 
Right, that's all the colours used. Now then, I think there's a hair there. Where's his hair's coming from? Let's go right down in there. It's one of my micro brushes. Gosh, where are these coming from? Uh, no, that not quite in there. See, I'm going to have to go around now, making sure everywhere is full. And also, Go around and make sure there's no bubbles like just there. Okay, I'm just going to wipe my pot out. I think, guys, I'm just going to maybe. I'll even make up a little bit more of a silver because I want this bit here to be silver or a darker colour. Um, for the body. I mean, I could leave it like it is. But I want it to look like it's got a body. So it looks properly like a butterfly. I mean, the wings can be colourful, but I think the body needs to be defined. I just hope that when I do it, the body doesn't, um, like the black doesn't disperse right up into the body. Unless, uh, I know what I could do rather than mixing up more resin right at the moment that I don't need to do maybe I can bring silver down a bit more and mix it in with the pink to make it a bit more like it's got a body Of silvery pink. How's that, guys? Does that look better? I know there's bubbles in it. Okay, right. I'm going to go around and there's bubbles in there, but they're not coming out. in here at all. If I end up putting my head in the way guys I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to get these bubbles. I can see the bubbles but they're not disappearing with the heat. There's so many places these bubbles can hide. And if they're not going away with the heat gun, it means I've got to go around and, and get them all. Okay, 
It's so tiny, tiny little bubbles. So I hope everybody's day, evening or whatever it is where you live is going well. Send me a message below, tell me what you've been up to. Have you been crafting today? What craft have you been doing? I'd be really interested to know. Because I do resin, I do decoupage, um, vinyl cutting. And I'd be really interested to know what other people are doing as well. Wow, there's so many bubbles. And they won't go with the um, heat gun. I don't suppose it's going to matter astronomically for this layer because if I put um, the hair there, because if I put a Oh my goodness, because if I put a layer of clear over the top, then that's going to fill in any bubbles, any little dents that bubbles have left, I mean. Right, I think that's it guys. Oh look, I've made such a mess getting these bubbles out. There. Actually, I think it's a mess where I've put the resin in rather than getting the bubbles. There we go. Bit more there. Right. Okay. So there's all the colours in. Can you see that guys? Right, um, I when I did my last Timu order, I think it might have been my last one, I bought one of these. It's um, actually a, a cover you put on food, like cakes and things to keep flies off. So it just pops up like that and then you're supposed to be able to put it oh it's not gonna fit oh my goodness actually if i can i lean that up there because the resin's not right to the top so it's not actually going in the resin oh it's come up at the bottom the little plastic thing just came off if I can just rest it on top without the lace or anything going into the resin. Oh, like that. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I think I'm going to leave that off. It's not quite big enough. Oh, my goodness. I knew the butterfly was big, but I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> oh, the little plastic thing's come off of there again. So I've got purple resin and... Um, Put it in the yellow as well. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, right. I'll just put that to one side. Okay, guys. So I will be back when this is set. 
and we'll put another layer of clear resin on it and then um, I'll come back again when it's set to demold. Okay, so I will see you in a few seconds, but for me it'd be a few hours. Okay, take care. Hi guys, I'm back. I've actually, um, while I've been gone, I put a, a clear layer of resin on this because I didn't think you wanted me to uh, wanted to sit and watch me do that. It took ages. Sorry if you can hear my cat. My cat's meowing over there. Uh, <laughs> so I put a clear coat of resin on top of this. Um, it took me absolute ages to get all the, the clear resin into all those little, little tiny um, areas. So I'm going to demold it now. <sighs> right, this is this still feels a bit bendy, but. It should be okay. I think this is going to take a while, guys. <laughs> it's definitely going to take a while. Wow. Okay, let's do it this way. <clears throat> I've seen some people online do it this way. I think it'd be much easier. And of course, because it's st um, also still bendy, it'll be on the flat surface. That's much better doing it this way. Okay, that's that side done. Ooh. Okay, this bit's going to be a bit more difficult. Because it's got lots more areas that need to come out. And be gentle. I don't know if you can hear guys but the wind is up really bad. We've had really horrendous rain overnight. The garden is uh, a bit soggy. The chicken pen is a bit uh, wet and muddy but the chickens love it. I'm not sure if I've got a leak in my roof in my uh, craft shed. I'll have to investigate that. I've got a little wet puddle near the door. It might have came through the doors actually, but wow, this is this is proving a bit difficult, <laughs> guys. But slowly does it, hey. Oh, it started to rain again. Don't know where the British sunny weather has gone. A week or two ago I had my fan on because I was way too hot, but but now it's uh wet and horrible out there. Okay, it's coming. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to break any of it. Should have maybe. I think I might get some. Um, lots of people use silicon mold release a spray. Uh, spray stuff that you can spray on um, so there's some some resin that has gone has come underneath here look pick those bits off right. I don't 
don't know whether to carry on this way. Let's turn it round a little. It might be better. I've got a bit more to grab hold of here. I also don't want to break my mould. Oh, I have to get the antenna out. That was quite easy. Another one. Maybe doing it while it's slightly bendy is probably better because then it's got a little give and then you're not yanking something out of something really hard and then possibly end up snapping it. I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, there's a bit there that needs to come out. So this is where I've got to be careful because there's little bits. I wasn't expecting it to be this hard to get out, to demold. But so far it's looking good. Slow and steady. <laughs> well, the sun's come out. <laughs> Probably be pouring down with rain again. The British weather is so unpredictable. Oh. Okay. Right, I may have to start with these spits. We have to start from here again. Okay. Let's get one little bit out. I can get my finger under there. And hold it while I pull the other bit. There we go. That's the bit I was worried about. A little bit, bit there. Oh, we're nearly there, guys. Last bit. Hey. Okay, so I've got some little bits of resin in places where it doesn't need to be. I save these little bits um, and then I can use them when I do moulds like like my skull mould. Oh, I've dropped it. Oh, it's here. <laughs> Just to help kind of fill that and maybe give it a bit of decoration. And keep keeping you waiting on our guys. <laughs> That's okay. Let's just get these little bits out. There's a little red bit there. Oh, there's two or three red bits. Let's get this out. Oh. There. There's a tiny red bit there. Use a oops, use a cocktail stick. Oops. Okay. Right. Let's 
some clear bits as well. Here we go. Right, guys. Okay, here we go. It should be this way, guys. Oh, how did that get on there? Okay. It looks a bit... I don't know about this bit. Why is, why is this come from? Ah, there we go. Getting some stuck on. There we go. What do you think, guys? I think that's absolutely beautiful. There's a few areas where I've overspilled. I got it the right way. No, it's this way, guys. It's this way. I don't know if you can see, but you can see where I've done the clear this side and the colours this side. Can you see that? So this is this is going to be the side that you see. So what do you think, guys? I think it's lovely. I've got a little bit of uh, tidying up to do on the back. But that's going to be absolutely beautiful. Once it's cured properly, I'm going to, um, I'll probably use this, this bit here to tie some um, nylon thread to and hang it from my front room window. And then the colours, the, the sun will catch the colours as it comes through the window. Wow, that's going to be so good. It's going to be so nice. What do you think, guys? Look, look at that. It would be better if I had on a white background, wouldn't it? There we go, I'll move those. That's better. That's much better. You can see it all now. <gasps> what do you think, guys? I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it again. Well, not any time very soon, but I will do it again and I think I'll do a black background and then um, do it like um, a wall plaque, put it on the wall and then um, do like it, do it all glittery, maybe. Um, yeah, that'd be fantastic. But for now, this is this is going to go in my window. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to get it in my window. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, take care of yourself. And uh, I can't wait to do the next video. Um, also, don't forget, in the description box below, I've got links for Buy Me A Coffee, Timu and Amazon Wishlist. Um, under no obligation uh, the Timu benefits you more than it benefits me um, it's 50% uh, off and um, £100 worth of vouchers for a first time user uh, to download the Timu app um, so yeah so have a look at that guys um, also have a look at my um, my short videos and uh, my other videos um, most of my shorts are going to be about my chickens or my other animals um, which is quite fun um, and uh, I'll see you again soon take care everybody yeah.